at this stage here that's um, I'm gonna remove the frisket or some people call this as a masking fluid and what you do is you can be very casually and just go in and just rubbing on the area that you put the masking on that and you can see immediately a paper white comes through okay so after I remove all the masking fluid you can see the contrast of the paper white and one of the things to look at it very carefully as you can see some of the masking fluid when you remove it's quite stiff and therefore that uh, a lot of artists that uh, after they remove the masking fluid they will continue working on it and soft the area that need to be softened so now I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna actually uh, give the tree trunk a bit of shading now I have done a little bit of shading and I'm gonna take a blade or you can find anything that is flat and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do the tree bark by using uh, scraping but uh, what you do is you pick up some color from your palette and you kind of pull the color okay so now that uh, uh, after I scrape some of the tree bark onto the tree to create illusion look like a birch tree um, I will proceed to do some branches and to do the branches, you can use a brush, let's we call this a rigger. Um, you can also use for signature. And the way to use this particular brush is to hold it low and give a flick. So now I gave an illusion already to look like there's a lot of tree trunk. I'm gonna proceed to put some leaf. Since this is sort of bit old autumn, so I'm gonna give a bit more kind of uh, cambium orange to versus brown and maybe a bit of quinacridone gold to create that autumn light color okay okay now remember okay this is not a realistic painting this is more uh, casual so uh, try not to you know go after every single leaf try to just create illusion Okay, so I'm gonna lead your eye towards the middle section. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more uh, vermilion. At the middle section. And towards the outside, I'm gonna put more of the Camion Yellow, uh, Quinacridone Gold, uh, Burnt Sienna. And at the bottom of the tree, I will put more of the sepia to create a little bit depth to it. Uh, create a little bit shadow light. Okay, now um, now it's basically tidy up and we should be finished any time now. All right, so this is done and I'm gonna just sign the signature. Now, some of the beginner that um, they sometimes write too big, okay, so your name should not be the dominant of this painting. After I finished the painting, I decided to uh, add a, a river here, like some water, okay. Now that water just somehow give this painting a little bit more interesting color. And we're just going to uh, highlight a little bit with the... Uh, a bit of ultramarine to give just a little bit more depth to create a bit of light that's uh, reflected onto the water so I'm gonna pull this out a little bit okay that's it